Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, may I call your attention to Exhibit A. Actually, it's Exhibit V. This is the Kawan Pleno V. And I purchased it with Patreon monies because this, the Koan Pleno D, was one of my favorite players. I think I got it three, four, almost four years ago now. And I just could go on. I mean, it, it was lacking some features, but 100 hour battery life, 100 hour playback life. I love the shape. I love the, the button layout and how it felt. And it was, it had this cool little like light around the thing. And it was, it, it had little problems with the SD card, but you know, it was, who, it was worth the effort. And this was my second Koan, the original Koan D, not Pleno, but D back in the day. That's what really got me into it because that was like another 60 or 70 hour battery life. So now fast forward and for $300, I picked this up. Now, I'm gonna execute this live on camera in front of all the people of the internet. So if you like the reviews where I'm like, hey Zia, shit's in this real bad, uh, get in line and get some popcorn. Because this is a failure on many levels. Not just that, whatever the fuck that is. So, I pick this up, I get it, I charge it. I unbox it. There's an unboxing somewhere on my unboxing channel. And don't look at these costs too much. You'll make you grow hair in your palms. You like the wallpaper I picked out? And I'm, I turn it on and, well, I figured out how to turn it on first. Because that's the first thing you do is you grab this and you're like, okay, USB plug, SD card slot, uh, fucking wedge for splitting wood. That's important. Not everyone needs one of those. Here's my next track, last track, play, pause, volume up, volume down with no detent to tell you what's what. Then here's a sticker. And then here's a headphone jack, which they put so close to the metal that they actually had to divot out the metal. The, the metal from factory comes with a little cutout. It's a little cutout. Because they just, they fucked up and they realize when you plug a, a cord in to this plastic bit on the back, it doesn't quite line up and it's gonna hit that, so like they notched it out. And regardless of that, I still damaged it with plenty with uh, headphone plugs. So, I mean, you're looking at it going, where's the power button? And it's apparently that. Th that is a rubberized back. And that, middle of that, is, is, when you shut off the screen, this blinks the brightest blue. I had this playing on my car. And this blinks the brightest blue, just fucking beacon all the time blue now the original one this one the one that's 170 dollars on amazon right now uh this white on top or green i think it's green green or white charges red it turns red then it turns green when it's charged and it blinks white when it's running this uh is blue all fucking time blue blue now if you turn the screen on by pressing it then the screen's on now I could tell you from owning this for a millennium, which it might be dead. I haven't turned it on in a while. I think she's actually, she turned, she turned into a brick right now. I'll charge her up later. Uh, I could tell you exactly the differences between the two of these. This has one firmware upgrade from that. The end. Okay. I'm, I'm being a little bit harsh on it. They have upgraded it. It does DSD. It has a good DAC chip. It has a decent amplifier in it. As far as a portable player goes, if this was in a bag and just a wire was coming out of it, I plugged good headphones, link to the costs, uh, KPH 30i's in the description because you fucking need them for $30. If this was just like music coming out of a bag, I would go, wow, this is nice and clean. Yeah, this is nice and clean. Unfortunately, um, it has to be said that 300 fucking dollars could get you a lot. That's why the lot is out here. Including the older Pleno D. Including the Fio M6. Including the x Which one are you? You're not that. Whatever the fuck x that is. Including the Shanling M1. This is the M1, not even the M2. Including the M... Do you realize how close in price these are? This full, unadulterated, 
Android running, giant screen, easily sortable, Bluetooth balanced, incredible player. And then, hold on, I got the button in the back. This. You see, this is running their firmware, this is running their OS, and nothing's changed in four fucking years. I expected when I got this, spending the money I did in 2019, and this I think is a 2018 build, but I expected, how about this? I expected Bluetooth. Does it have Bluetooth? No. Wi-Fi? No. Does it have balanced output? No. Does it have at least a hundred hour battery life still? No. You see, they did this shape. And that seems to have removed 35 of those hours. They have like a 70 hour battery life now. It's not that much more, it's not much more powerful than the original. This was great. I love this thing. Nice and clean and easy. 100 hours. And now it's only 70. And it's it's actually longer than the old one. Only where the wedge takes place. The only thing I could figure is someone had to... Des Here's another thing. It's very sharp. It's not as sharp as it could be. I'm tempted to keep this and not yard sale it and just bring it to my brother's shop and take this piece of solid aluminum because I'm assuming most of this down here is solid and just honing it to like the we a weapon of mass destruction and just attaching it to a stick and then I could chop things with it. There's no reason to shape a player like this. Astle and Kern does some weird shit. Like they'll take it and they'll twist the screen because you hold it like this and they twist the screen to at least match your alignment. Like instead of having to do this and I could kind of get behind that. The only reason I could see this being a thing is if you have very, very tight pants. Tighter than that, like super fucking tight or they're filled with junk and you can literally just put it in the pants and then just hammer it into the full pant and there you go. See, that's how this works. It's, it's, it's real simple. So ergonomics, zero. Just like it, it pokes me in the hand right there. If you're holding it like this, which is where the buttons are, and I always love the Koan buttons. But the thing about this player is I think they had to delineate, like you could feel positive and not negative because you had to know which one you're playing with. They don't do that on this. These are all smooth because one side's a fucking wedge. So you're never going to lose orientation if you're holding it. So, I mean, I do love that though. I love play, pause, volume up and down, next track, last track. Very few players do that. However, a lot of the newer players like this have combined, either have a volume wheel, which I'm not still into the wheel. I'd rather have this setup is probably the best, the uh, Fio M6, because it only has play, pause, up and down, no track buttons. You hold that down for a second and it changes track, just like on a Bluetooth receiver, like this. Even this, this fucking $100 or less than $100 Radstone Ear Studio has balanced output, is Bluetooth, has all these options. I mean, equalization this thing does have, but this is a far more advanced unit than this at a third of the cost. Now, granted, it's a different league you're talking about using for a phone or for something else, but all of these units here at least, well, no, not you. You're the old Koan. You, you, I expect to be old. You, I expect to be new, and you're fucking old. It's like, hey, everybody. Now, I'm going to open up my web browser in a second. We're going to hide her and her red pants. And we're going to look at the Koan's lineup for a second. Let me, I'm going to get the review of this out of the way real quick so we could do that, because I want to yell some more. This thing sounds great. The end. Nothing else it does is any good. The menu, we've got like, okay, it's it, there's info. We could see info. We could, let me go back, let's scroll through some tracks. So here's, like, look at the quality of that. I'm glad I have 60 FPS on my camera so you could see how amazing that is. Hotel California, it loads. It has a default plan. You have a choice of, hold on. You get a choice of this screen, which shows you there's your time bar, and you can drag it across, and it pops up in like the lowest resolution possible. You can barely, like the pixels are huge. It tells you this is track one of 557 on this drive. Oh, that's that's another thing I gotta get to. But I'm gonna give you the preview first. You could hit next track. You could 
go to the menu here, you could shuffle, you can go to the equalizer and it's got four user EQs, normal, and then all of these. You know how you could see all of these? Go watch my fucking review of that. Nothing's changed. The jet effects thing, and I love jet effects, it's like a great thing. But where's the rest? Play speed, great, I can increase the play speed. Player skin, A-type, settings, system time. Wh where? A a where? Where's the, where's the options? There's an EQ, there's jet effect. The end. You, you got nothing, you got nothing, go on. You don't even have a high res screen. Now I know they're going for battery life, but you've, you've dropped it down to 70 hours instead of 100. You've given me this wedge shape, which looks cool, feels cool until you try to use it and you just keep stabbing your fucking self in the hand with it. I'm gonna sharpen it. I'm gonna sharpen it. I'm gonna kill someone with it. I'm gonna make the news. Like man stabbed with man stabbed with portable music player. The navigation is just atrocious. You can choose song. Here we'll go to this. We'll go to the, the let's see Brian Adams. Brian Adams. Real Genius OSC. One Night Love Affair. So I can get to things, but it's like what a compared to a modern player. And I call modern, it doesn't have to be Android to be modern. But like this, this is, this has a search bar. I could actually type things into this. I could, look, there's transition effects. There's playlists. It loads things. I could Bluetooth to it. If this had, and here, we're gonna, now we're gonna go to the list. I'm sorry, I'm gonna hide that wallpaper for a minute. We're gonna go to the list. Here is the original Pleno D. 32 gig internal takes a card. Oh, let's talk about the card for a second. Let's minimize this again so you, you I don't want to get you not looking at wallpaper. So this claims it'll take like a 128 gig card. Now, this one from three years ago was a pain in the dick. You put the card in there and here was the rule. You couldn't charge this unit with the card in there if it was like a 64 or higher, because it's if, if, on a computer. On a computer, that was the thing. If this came up as a data thing, it would try to read the card, the card would get corrupted, and it would no longer read the card. So you could only charge it on a dumb power charger only. And you had to fill the card up in a card reader, and that card had to work, and that's how you got it to like work, because the firmware was real iffy. Fast forward to 2018, 2019. This car, this fucking thing right now, let me, let me pop this out has a 16 gig card in it. Do you know why it's a 16 gig card? Because that's the only fucking card that would read. I've got, look, piles. Here's a four gig, here's a 32, another 32. I had a 128 and a 64. I keep piles of cards for testing out different players. And I picked up all of them and none of them worked, but that 16. Now I could have spent, oh, I don't know, two hours troubleshooting this thing, going on the forums and saying, hey, I got this player and is it formatted to XFAT? But none of that should be a fucking issue in 2019. I should not be limited to a 16 gig card out of the box after a firmware update. Literally, you plug this here, watch, you plug this in, the 16 gig card, is this the correct orientation? I wanna make sure before I fuck it up. You plug that in and look, it says database update. You plug in any other card it says nothing, does nothing, manual update in the menu does nothing. And I'm just like, I'm just, I, I couldn't be bothered. If, if it had other functions, if it had Bluetooth, if it had balanced output, if it had a more, uh, a quicker UI, I'd give a shit about that issue. But no one's buying this, so I don't give a shit. Welcome to Zeos, not giving a shit .com. I'm sure someone just bought that URL. First 200 views of this video. There's just gonna be a loop of that playing. Sorry, I gotta keep touching it and spitting on it. Also, what's with these fucking stickers? It's a pretty unit. I'll give it that. Great. Great, I just peeled this off. And now there's another sticker with serial numbers and shit underneath it. That's on, it's in glue. Why? Why? Why are you dirtying up my pretty unit? Why is this sticker here? Telling me shit, it says Pleno V, Koan systems, and the rest is all Chinese. 
except for five volt, two amp. Either give me, like, look, look, there's, there's stuff here on the Fio, but it's like in glass and it's perfect and it's permanent. And there's actually a, um, that's a sticker telling you what to plug in, but in Chinese, because I got this advanced from Fio. But most of these units just have like printed, in, why do you put a sticker, a white sticker on a black surface? It looks like it's being sold in a yard sale. That's default, new. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And here's the thing. So, okay, 169 for the old one. Close that. There is two $300 koans. The one I'm reviewing here, the Pleno V 64 gig formula red. It's got internal software. It's got internal memory. So you're really going to add the card. It's like extra on top of the 64, but I'm not going to plug this in and fill it up. I'm going to just throw a card in it like I do for everything. DSD, DFF, DFS, ISO, FLAC, WAVE, F, APE, AUG, wide angle touch display. Wide angle touch display? Really? It's the same touch display you had on this. Literally the same fucking resolution. They're not telling you the resolution. Premium playback 41 hours. 41? Wait a second. Is that not even 70? I thought I read 70 somewhere. Maybe DSD playback is 41. They have to go by the shortest amount. But look at the signal to noise ratio. 126 decibel. Total harmonic distortion plus noise. 0.0004%. It's amazing sounding. You're not going to buy one. So here's the deal. They make this, right? It's $300. Let's go back. They make this, which is the Pleno D2. So this is 170. Here's another $300 DAC that does all 45 hours. So back to half as much as the original. Same total harmonic distortion, uh, digital audio playback 192, native DSD, balanced fucking output. Dual DAC, 64 gig. Du so this one's got the, where was this when I was buying these things? I would have bought this one instead of this one, although I kind of wanted to know what this was doing, but here's my problem. I'm pretty sure, I'm very sure, that's gonna have the same firmware and OS as this and this. These are basically the same pile of shit OS. And even if like the X-Duo here was sort of weird and couldn't read the labels, it still felt easier to use and was faster. Granted, all of these, all of them, have shit battery life compared to any koan. Even at half, at 40 hours, 45 hours, 41 hours, that's triple what most players have. I'm gonna keep saying that, and then I'm gonna keep going, well, it's 2019, you should be able to do the battery and the speed and all this other stuff, unless it's literally impossible. All right, let's get out of the $300 range. All right, those two are gone. 339. The Koan PM2 128 Pleno M2. Whoa. Remember when I did the M? Remember the other Koan I did, which was the one with the, the radio in it and a calculator, and you could draw on it, and it was like, whoa, this has a radio in it. And it had the old capacitive touch screen that you could actually feel it was soft. Well, here's the M2. That's more money than the new ones of these. It actually has, it's 0.0007% uh, total harmonic distortion plus noise. Seven effects, 256 gig memory. And a, th does it say the hours? It doesn't say the hours, but it claims it has a 3000 milliamp hour battery and support the PCM and DSD-128. So this looks a little bit bigger uh, again, there's only one picture here. I'm trying to judge from the bottom. I can't even tell if it's it's got to have balance. It's got VUs. I should buy that one and try it. Or let's keep going. Another one for 330. They have two $300 players and two $340 players. So now this is a Pleno R, which has 128 gigs high resolution with Bluetooth. Aptex DAC filter. That's the one I'd probably get. You know why I'd probably get that one? Because it looks like it's got a different OS and it's got Bluetooth. This one might be coming into its own. Total harmonic distortion plus noise. Ready for this? 0 0.001. It's getting worse. This, the, the total harmonic distortion. That's a hundred times worse than this. Do you understand? The other one was 0 0.005. This is 0 0.001. That's 
way worse. But 66 presets, DXD, DSD, FLAC, music playback time, 17 hours. So we're moving up in modern technologies. We're getting the Bluetooth, we're getting app decks, we're getting DAC filters. That's less than half as much as, as this had. This was 100 hours, this is 40 hours, now it's 17 hours, but we're starting to move towards modernness. So I think there's a problem. I think there's a problem with with everything we're going up towards. Let's keep going. Let's let's double our budget. Six hundred dollar Koan P two, and I'll either link all of these in the description or just search page on Koan. Koan P two, Hi-Fi Sound MP three player, one hundred and twenty eight gigs Imperial Silver. Literally all it says on Amazon for this is robust build quality, effortless natural sound, and fast startup and scanning of files. It definitely has balanced. It's definitely still not USB-C, and it's got what looks to be two knobs on top of it. I don't, I don't know. It's six hundred fucking dollars. So now we're getting out of the range of like normalcy. We're, we're above this as far as price. No idea what that does. Keep going. Okay. Well, what if we doubled our price and then some again? And now we have a fifteen hundred dollar Pleno Two Mark Two. 206 gig high resolution player with DAC and high performance amplifier. Um, this looks like it has everything you'd ever want. Uh, should I hit the play video? Where's our total home distortion? We're back down to 0 0.0005. So that's not bad. Do we have anything that tells me the battery life? I doubt it'll be any good. Premium, a high metal strength metal body. Ooh. So now it's just like $1,500 of that. So where do you go from there? Well, obviously up. $2,050, the Pleno L. So Pleno D, Pleno D2, Pleno L, Pleno V, Pleno L, fucking fuck you. Internal quad deck with a 4.4 balanced native DSD-256, high standard, ultra low noise, THD of 0. .0004, with a balanced output that'll push four volts and sound plus high, true 256 internal with a micro SD card slot. It's got an AMOLED 3.7, so that's the real dealio right there. And it looks like every other expensive fucking crazy player, and I couldn't care less. Because that's not what Koan is about. Koan was always about small, lightweight, useful, affordable players that lasted forever and could do anything you want. And you know what? This ain't far off from that concept. But it's 2019. And the fact that they have a line of players that go up to the $2,000 mark, and yet I feel like they just keep putting the guts of this into a new fancier metal case. And maybe they add balance, and maybe they don't. Maybe the, the battery doesn't last as long. And maybe just the, the THD goes up and down and up and down. I'm just so sick. I'm just, I'm just rubbing my face. Come on used to be like my guilty pleasure. It was never the best player, but it was the one I went to because I have a history with Koan. I have a history with the older Koan. It lasted forever. I loved keeping it in my car, shutting it. You never shut it off, too. This one, you, you shut off. I wouldn't leave this one running. So you got to hold this fucking stupid button on the back. Actually, it auto sleeps now and shuts off, which is just a terrible spot for a button. Just like, I mean, it's not bad there. I have like a fingerprint reader, but... I used to leave the other one on in my car, and you turn it on, and it would be on. And it would work for a week without charging it. And then the this one came out, and it was similar, but I would end up not turning on for two, three weeks, and the battery would die like it currently has. i got to charge this up, leave it at 80%. you got to charge it up and then go through the menu to shut it off because there's no off. Holding this down sleeps it, doesn't shut it off. Holding this down shuts it off, so they learned a lesson with that, but I like the other option. I don't know, I feel like there's so many other options I shouldn't even be bothering with this fucking shit. Koan, Koan needs to find that perfect butter zone of fast, better, better interface, number one. Better screen, better interface. Give me at least 50 hours of battery life. 41 is like, eh, it's better than most. But 50, 100, going from 100 to 41 is like a big drop. You gotta, you, give me Bluetooth or give me balanced. This Exo was proof. You could run your own operating system. You could have Bluetooth. Even this can, I mean, the not can, Shanling. They have all run Bluetooth in their own little proprietary operating systems. Actually, I think this one shared an operating system with someone. 
but is proof that you could run a simple, easygoing player and have Bluetooth and have Wi-Fi and have all those things. Why can't you? Why do I have to spend six hundred dollars get something that looks like that? This is my sad rant. I'm I'm sad. Not yelling at this thing and cursing it out and saying, "Who the fuck designed this?" One man in in are these Taiwan Thailand Taiwanese? I don't remember where they are. I don't think Kowan is Japanese. But one man decided that that was the shape he wanted. I wanted the wedge. The wedge represents the power to split the atom. I don't know. I don't know. It's it's going to be in a yard sale, and I'm going to take the 16 gig card out of it, which I don't know where I the fuck I had a 16 gig card filled with music, but I did. And I'm going to put that in the yard sale and try to get some money back for it, because I spent the full kitty on it. And I'm hoping that other, like, this is my new go-to. It's a bar soap. It's got very simple controls. It turns on fast. You use it. You shut it off. It doesn't have balanced, and the battery doesn't last as long as it could. But this is like USB-C is nice and updated. It loads fast enough. It sounds good enough. And it's the best one you got. And it's Bluetooth. I usually use this for Bluetooth. I'll Bluetooth out to something like this, which does have balanced output, which does has the convenient controls. I don't know. There's just so many things available now that are not koan that I'm just exhausted from the thought of it. This is Android, though, and it is annoying that it's starting constantly. I don't know. I don't know. I'll fucking see you all tomorrow. I'm I'm tired of this. If you want to buy this for me, if you want to buy this sad Pleno V, I get why it's a V, because it, it's like a V. Please join the Patreon for $5 a month. From the 1st to the 10th, I offer up everything from the months prior that I don't need, anything that I've bought, anything that people have donated to the channel, are usually sold. Profits go towards buying the next fucking piece of shit. And then moving on. Nice. There will be a um, a post on the Hi-Fi Guides. We haven't started players posts for like portables, but I guess I'll start the category tonight. Players, Plan OV. Tell me what you think. Do you own one? Do you own the other players? Do you have anything that has a battery life that I'm sort of looking for? I want to forget about a player forever. This is nice because... When you sleep the screen, even though it's full Android, when you sleep that, and you wake it up in three days, 3% have gone by. Just sitting there in standby, no start, no close, you plug it in occasionally. <sighs> Look, it's got, a, it's got a real touch screen, and it's got real speed, and I can scroll through real songs real fast. This is all I want. I need, I need to, to jump like through songs alphabetically with smooth precision with it look I could hit that where is it I could hit that and I could type things on a keyboard it's 2019 come on you really got to uh step that game up a bit down that wallpaper in the description check this stuff out again the patreon is five dollars a month to get to the yard sales ten dollars a month to get you into the private chat I'm going to literally post a picture of this into the ten dollar patronage chat and then cry to them on little voice speaker mode on telegram it's so sad it's so sad at least you got to see that wallpaper though which isn't and the reason i use that wallpaper other than being red is it's not really drawn that well it's like this player it's really nice to look at from afar and then you get close and you're like gosh she looks fucking weird who drew those ankles what are those ankles even okay everyone see you tomorrow enjoy your weekend i'm assuming this is the start of a weekend if it's not Enjoy your work week. It's going to suck.